What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another profile here on TCG University for the Card Game Universes. My name is Tam, and today I'm going to be showing you the profile for Tyler's Sub Zero deck. Um, if you like this deck profile, make sure that you check out all the matches it played in here on the YouTube channel. Um, it'll be under its own playlist on the end of the line, as well as as well as out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TCG University. We play them every Tuesday at six o'clock. Um, so with that, let's jump into the deck. All right, so this is Sub-Zero. If you haven't seen one of my other deck profiles, as opposed to just reading out the card verbatim, um, because you can pause it and read it as it is, um, I want to tell you more about what the deck wants to do. So what is the elevator pitch for this Sub-Zero deck? Sub-Zero wants to guarantee damage. He wants to commit my opponent's cool, awesome resources, and then he wants to give additional damage and then guarantee the damage later in his turn. You have to be very... Uh, specific about what you block against Sub Zero. You gotta let some attacks in, and you gotta you gotta make sure that you block the important ones. And uh, the goal of the Sub Zero deck is to make sure that every single attack is important enough to want to block. So, uh, with that, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the profile. So the first uh, attack that I have is Deep Freeze. This card is a uh, one of a two-piece comboed card. Um, and this card says stun two, get an extra stun off of sub-zero. Um, or you can discard a momentum uh, seal, which says take away all of the uh, the text on a card, and uh, give it plus one to its stun rating. This is a nine damage attack. My opponent's going to be blocking this thing. There's no way that they're not allowed to. Um, the only other way thing that they can do uh, against this is maybe a little bit of damage reduction. But, but even, even then, it's still going to be... I mean, they're not going to get rid of 9 damage off of, a, off of an attack. Still super, super good. Up next, we've got Triple Frost Hammer. This is the other uh, main kill card in the deck. This is our, our one two punch deep freeze frost hammer. And so the way this card works is it gets plus one uh, damage for each of my opponent's committed foundations, and it gets plus one speed for each of my opponent's sealed foundations. So what we can do is we can uh, deep freeze and seal up to three of their cards, then stun three of them, and then use Sub-Zero to uh, seal and commit one more. I use Frost Hammer. I then Sub-Zero, seal and commit one more. I use uh, Frost Hammer to uh, stun them one. And now they've committed two off of Sub-Zero, two off of Deep Freeze, one off of Frost Hammer. So, or sorry, uh, three, five, six cards. Um, so it's six extra damage, two extra damage off of Sub-Zero, and four extra speed. Right? No, five extra speed. And so um, this thing hits for a truck if you can get both of these off together. Um, a little easier to get damage on, but a little easier to block is Icy Slide. This card just says it gets plus X damage for each uh, pr total printed stun rating in all the cards in my card pool. The reason this card is super rad is it is a three diff, and it says all the printed cards in my card pool, right? So if I if the play that we just made uh, happens, um, we get to take and go Deep Freeze, Frost Hammer, Icy Slide. So Icy Slide's one damage by itself. Sub Zero gives another two, going up to three. It has two keywords by itself. Uh, there's five, six, seven, eight damage so it's a uh, it's an eight damage icy slide uh as the third attack they've committed a ton of cards because of all of this and so they better have a good low block they better have a good mid block and if you have any way to give this thing speed at all this is eight damage on a, on a three difficulty foundation which is why we're definitely going to be playing four of this card for sure for sure up next, we're playing four of the new DLC cards, Stake Out. Uh, this card is fantastic inside of Sub-Zero. It says it, it's it's one of the best cards to make my opponent want to block. Um, if this attack deals damage, which if they don't block, it'll deal damage. It'll get... Uh, They'll lose vitality equal to its stun rating. Um, if they block it, they'll discard a card because of Sub-Zero. It gets an additional 2 damage off of Sub-Zero. And so it's possible that we can get this thing to do like 8, 9, 10 damage uh, all by itself. We've got Triple Hyper Bomb. Hyper Bomb is the, the main leadoff card inside of the deck, and it forces my opponent to block. Because if they don't block, uh, I'm just going to draw an extra card, and it's 7 damage, which is pretty much a fifth of every character's life. And so, hit you for a fifth of your life, draw an additional card, and if I have less life, less vitality than you, then I'm going to destroy another foundation as well. Playing Double Lightning. This is a really good poke. Uh, it just guarantees my momentum. It's just a, a 4 damage uh, uh Fatality, and the reason I say four damage is because it starts as two, gets an extra two off of sub zero, and it's a five mid for two. They're definitely not blocking this thing. They're just not. And then my last attack is real, real spicy. It is Prism Storm of Torment. So this card does uh, two things. Number one, um, Tyler designed this deck to want to draw an additional card off of the hyper bombs and and um, some foundations and assets that we're playing, and so it's easy to get a, a seventh card in my card pool. 
Or, even sneakier, we can take and we can play the Prism Storm first, and then we can just load up on Icy Slides. And Icy Slides says printed stun rating, and it has printed Deadlock Stun 7. And so not only does Scrub Zero still work with it, because it is technically a stun attack, it's just locked out of having stun because my opponent's not at Deadlock. And so it is a 7 high for 9 that if they block, they discard a card, and then all my Icy Slides are going to be hitting for a million because they get plus 7 damage. Really, really spicy tech, Tyler. I really... I really, really like it. On to the uh, assets and foundations. The uh, first asset I want to talk about is Cal Yuga. This is the main way they're going to be playing that uh, that seventh card. Um, if I've got six or less foundations, I'm going to commit it and pick up one of my uh, my weapons. Deep Freeze and Frost Hammer are both weapons. Uh, very, very strong card to lead it and uh, lead off our attack into. We're playing double Flambear. The big thing Sub-Zero has an issue with is just generating speed, and plus one speed can go a long way whenever it's strung out over a series of attacks like Sub-Zero wants to play. Also, minus one speed on everything's also pretty okay. We're playing double Stop. Um, just committing my opponent's character, saying that their turn is over, um, is, is just good enough to play Stop all by itself. It's probably the strongest action that Order has independently without trying to play like a bunch of combo stuff, and so just... Committing my opponent's best resource and locking them out of the game is is just good enough. Um, on to the I gotta kill you cards. So first off, uh, I'm playing one T on a groceries, and you're going, Tam, this isn't one of the, uh, this isn't a kill me card. This card doesn't have any damage. No, it does not. But what this card does do is it lets me commit things for free. Um, I uh, have to play this on a six, and I check a five. Well, I'll commit my groceries, and I'll ready back up my groceries. Now I I, I didn't actually check that five. I ch I checked a six. Look, my T on a groceries is back ready. This just uh, says plus one to all the checks for the for the rest of the term. Incredibly, incredibly strong card um, for trying to play very big damage or big difficulty attacks and make it work. Up next, we're playing double freeze in the city. This is your stun attack is plus one damage. Uh, you can also seal stuff if you need extra speed off of um, off of frost hammer, but plus one damage for free is is good enough on a two five two mid block. Playing double, ridding the world of outsiders. This makes my icy slides very, very scary because it just says my next one gets two, two. So my icy slide is actually going to have uh, three low for for three starting out, as opposed to one low for one. It actually makes your your attacks be able to push through. That plus two speed um, is worth it. And it also says response flip play or enhanced flip play ball committed another one one. So this card is plus three plus three stats on it, even if you just uh, use its abilities once. We're playing one Betrayed by a Family. This is also in the Gotta Kill Him card. And the reason this is here is because it is essentially a baby T on a groceries. After it's uh, committed in the... Uh, sorry. Um, after your opponent's combat phase begins, ready it. So I'll play this, play this. I commit my one foundation. I build back out. At the start of their turn, I'll ready it up. And readying the foundation on, is actually the most important on my opponent's turn. So that I can, you know, continue to to play defense that plus one foundation might be the the thing that that makes or breaks you living um really value the fact of your cards getting back to ready back up speaking of readying cards we're playing god of thunder uh god of thunder just says destroy a different foundation or destroy any foundation it could be god of thunder a uh, ready foundation hasn't been ready this combat phase so uh betrayed by the family's out but um yeah, all the other ones are good this is also really good for slinging together a, a kill a, a excuse me for slinging together a, a kill turn as well as just making sure that your blocking chains happen on to the next uh, section, we've got Consistency. Uh, passing the Torch just says commit draw card. Uh, passing the Torch with God of Thunder just says draw two every turn, making you essentially an eight-hander for losing a foundation. Seems fantastic. Um, part of the issue Sub-Zero has is he'll draw three foundations and three attacks, and he needed a fourth attack. This could just accidentally find you the fourth attack. As so Just the same way that Never a Day Without Training. This is discard a card, draw a card. Um, we do have a couple of assets inside of our deck, but... Um, and so it could just say flip a draw a card. Um, but discard a card, draw a card is not that bad either. On to the defense, we've got one refusing to let go. Uh, Sub Zero actually doesn't do anything on my opponent's turn. <laughs> he literally does zero things. And so um, unless you can figure out how to make a, uh, a reversal happen, this card is one of the best defensive cards in the entire game. Um, return it back to, to printed damage and then minus two damage. As well as last year's kind, uh, pay two for minus four damage. So essentially pay two to, to not take two. And then um, Desperation and Deadlock, your attacks get plus two damage. Very strong. We're playing a double cool and focus. I got to make sure that I, I can block all my, all my rad stuff. When I attempt to block with this, uh, it just returns its speed to zero. Or returns its speed to printed, excuse me. Not zero. Printed zero would be insane. 
We're playing double Nightmare Tears for the same reason we're playing Cool Focus. I gotta be able to block. I gotta make sure that I can stretch out my 28 life the best I can. I'm not good on my opponent's turn. I have to play on my turn. We're playing a double $500 sunglasses for the same reason. This card uh, protects your mid and high zones from getting blown out from a, a bunch of damage or playing throws or, or whatever. After you block with this, it only deals one damage. So they can have a 14 million damage attack. Make it even a throw. I'll play the sunglasses. I'll take one. As well as it's got a... It's it just like after they after they play a, uh, an ability, commit another card. Yeah, seems good. I'm going to make my, my attacks even bigger. We're playing a triple manifestation for a little of anti-stun. Um, if I um, get stunned or... Uh, yeah, if I get stunned or I pay for the cost of an ability, the only cost that I see in here is um, Hyper Bomb. So I can just commit it and make you commit a foundation. Um, it's just committing out more cards as well. It's got really gnarly stats. A little uh, disruption. Triple Ages and Wise. I want to keep my foundations. Togoro Brothers is such a such a beating. And I want to make sure my foundations stay exactly where they are. Especially since I'm trying to play with so few in order to make my Cal Yuga plays happen. Up next, I've got double Bebop Blues. Being able to commit my opponent's character is super rad. As well as, I can't afford to have my character uh, committed off of a stop or sealed off of a bang. i got to make sure that my character exists in order to push real pressure through. Very character dependent uh, you know, deck. And then my last thing is as well as little doll under the order symbol. They don't have a ton of stuff to deal with responses, and this just says response discard momentum after they play a response, cancel it. A uh, very useful card. I think the card is fantastic. Um, it doesn't need to be a two of, maybe not, maybe it can be just just be a one of, but uh, it's good enough as is. All right, you guys. So that was Sub Zero made by Tyler Clark. Big shout outs to him. If you liked this profile, like I said, make sure you go and you check out all of the uh, videos, the matches that uh, Sub Zero played in here on the channel at the end of the line playlist. And if you want to catch us live, go to twitch.tv slash TCG University every Tuesday starting at six o'clock and see all the matches as we record them live for you. So, um, Oh, last thing, if you want to talk about Sub-Zero, talk to Tyler or anybody here at the TCGU staff, um, make sure that you go out to patreon.com slash TCGUniversity, sub at the $1 level, and uh, you can have access to our Discord, where we'd love to talk to you, with you about Sub-Zero all day long. So, from all of us here at TCGU, thank you very much for watching, and stay alert.